Hey friends, this is Marilyn from tarotclarity.com and I'm doing another video very quickly, another short video. Yesterday, um, some of you may have seen my demonstration reading on finding a lost object. Now, I don't go through life losing objects and, and using tarot to find them. I mean, I really you typically will just look for the object, you know, but it's been going on a few weeks <laughs> and I can't find my favorite I wasn't able to find my favorite uh, purple fountain pen. I have other fountain pens I can use, but I couldn't find my purple one. So at any rate, I decided I was going to do a reading. Now I'll flip the camera so you can see the cards I pulled. So you see I pulled the Nine of Swords with the sword facing down. And as soon as I flipped it over, I, the first thing that came to my mind was down below you know, down below. Then the hermit, which I laughed because it seemed like a joke, you know, and I made a comment like, yeah, I've been searching, you know, this guy's searching, you know. And then the last one, which is another sword with the flower or the precious item in the center. And I took it to mean that it was hidden or covered or, you know, within something. So of course, you know, I had that in mind. And before I started looking, I just, you know, for the object after the reading, I just looked at it for a little bit. Let me flip the camera. So, you know, I was, you know, I was thinking about other interpretations or, you know, how sometimes after you do a reading, it might hit you a minute later, you know, that it could have meant this or that, that or this other, in addition to what I already said. So uh, I was thinking, well, Sometimes I associate uh, swords with pen, right, and writing, because I, you know, sometimes if, you know, somebody asks, you know, what kind of person would be a good match for me, and I see, you know, the swords come up, it could mean a few things. It could mean a military person or a person in an authoritative position, but it could also mean someone who is quick-witted and, and a writer or something like that. So I, you know, considered, well, um, I still believed it was down below or underneath, you know, underneath something or, you know, down below. But it also occurred to me that it could be associated with writing, you know, writing utensils. And it is a pen, you know, because there were two sword cards. And then it occurred to me that because the, the hermit is holding a lantern in this particular deck that I thought I should probably take my cell phone with me when I look underneath things because, you know, it's got a flashlight. So I, you know, I went around the, the perimeter of the tarot parlor and underneath everything in the room, which is where I really thought it was. Couldn't find it with my, got all my hands and knees, which is no small thing and no pretty sight. <laughs> but I did all that. It wasn't anywhere. So then it dawned on me, aha, it's got to be in the basement. Right now, my basement is not a dungeon. It's a beautiful basement. Whoever built this house, built a party house. I mean, the basement is the same floor space, you know, as upstairs. It's just that it's downstairs and it's, you know, it's got, you know, a pool table. It's got a bar. It's got my art studio. It's got a sound system that could blow the whole neighborhood off the, you know, off its feet. But I don't typically go downstairs unless we're watching a movie because we have a movie theater down there. And I thought, uh-huh, maybe it's downstairs, possibly, you know, the arrow pointing down. So I go downstairs with my cell phone in order to use it as a flashlight. And I start looking in the places where I had been in the past month because <clears throat> I don't go down there very often, you know, I just because the stairs are hard. So I go down there, I look in the movie area, I look, you know, I look in my art area, I don't find it. So I'm like, okay, I come back up the stairs and I realize I left my cell phone downstairs. Oh, so I have to go back down the steps. So I go back down the stairs and I'm looking for where I put my cell phone. And I see my cell phone sitting on a box on my um, drafting table in my art studio. So I go and I pick up the phone. <laughs> I see where I put it. And then I realize that I 
it, it was sitting on my stationery box, which I had written a letter to one of my mother's friends who's still alive, and I wanted to write her a note. And um, I pick up the box and I pull out the, the paper and in the well of the box, you know, um, I, I should have brought it upstairs, but I didn't go back down to get it. <laughs> in the well of the box, you know, like the, the paper sits on a platform within the box and I took it off and there was the pen inside the box, <laughs> underneath the writing paper in the box, and in the basement, right? So, I mean, it's like, wow. And I didn't need my flashlight. I didn't need my flashlight. So that was the one thing, I guess this was really the, the hermit appearing as searching was really kind of like a tongue, tongue in cheek kind of joke, you know, like, yeah, I'm looking, you know, I'm really looking, you know. But when I saw that, you know, afterwards, when I thought about the lantern, I thought maybe I need my flashlight. But interestingly, if I hadn't taken my phone downstairs with me, right? If I had not taken my phone downstairs with me, I would not have found it because as it turns out, I found it underneath the, underneath the, the phone, which I was using as a flashlight, right? So that's pretty interesting. Now somebody, um, one of my viewers commented that maybe it was in a place where there's knives or sword, you know, like knives, right? Which is a, a great guess. Right? It's a great interpretation, not a guess, but it's a great interpretation because after all, there are two swords, right? But when it struck me, when I interpreted it, and it's my object that I couldn't find, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't struck by it's with knives, right? I was struck by direction. I was looking for direction. That's what I was looking for. So I was looking for it down below, possibly to do with writing, and then hidden or within something, contained within something or hidden by something, right? And then of course, um, because a pen is a writing instrument and I found it in my stationary box where I write, I wrote a personal note. So it's kind of interesting, you know, I, I, I just wanted to share that with you and, and you can use tarot for those purposes. You know, I don't typically, it's not my first go-to. When I lose an object, like anybody else, I just search the house looking for it all over and can't find it. But then sometimes, you know, when I've said, okay, I need the heavy hitters or I need to see it with a different perspective. I need to see it differently because if you keep looking in the same places, you're going to get the same result, which is nothing. Just like when you keep doing the same things over and over again, you get the same results which is oftentimes a big goose egg, right? And that's when I, you know, do the tarot. And then I get a different perspective. And then I think, aha, uh -huh, I'm gonna, I never would have thought of looking downstairs. Or if I had, it would have been another two, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just uncanny. It's uncanny how uh, helpful tarot can be. And not just in finding lost objects, but in any time that you need a, a tarot reading. It often provides a person with a different perspective, a, a perspective that they wouldn't have thought of, you know, and it changes your course of action, which oftentimes results in, you know, the best possible outcome. So I hope I satisfied your curiosities, folks, and I hope you see this video after you watched the first video because, um, of me doing the reading, like where is this item? Because uh, it's interesting how it all worked out. Okay, friends, until next time, and I'm gonna be doing more videos. Um, uh, you know, there's gonna be, I'm gonna be doing videos with more frequency. So uh, you keep, keep posted on this channel. Give me a thumbs up, <laughs> share me with your friends, all that good stuff. Until next time, friends, peace and stay well.